Hi, welcome back to Strength and Conditioning TV. It's me, Brendan Chaplin, and I'm here with Sophie Wood. How are you doing today, Soph? Yeah, all good, thanks. Good. Ready to do some stuff? Yeah, give it a shot. Give it a happens. shot. Give it a shot and see what happens. That's a good attitude. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> so today, what I've got for you is we're going to do some dumbbell circuits. Now, I'm a big fan of, of putting together, stringing together a number of different exercises into a, a longer set and the value of that being that you get a lot of technical practice of the different movement patterns. You get a really good, what I would refer to as like a work capacity quality and work capacity to development. So you're stringing all these things together. And it's a good opportunity to build some basic fitness. So here's the thing. It's six reps of everything, all right? And we normally do them three times. We'll probably do them twice in this occasion. We'll do one to introduce it, the second one to go through the whole thing. But the first one, when we do it the first time, just do it nice and steady. No rush or race with yeah. it at all. So the first one we're going to do is what's called a thruster. So you're going to hold the dumbbells here, nice and wide into your squat position. And then you're going to go into a deep squat and you're going to press the dumbbell overhead. Yeah. Okay? So steady away, off you go. Lovely. Good. Head through at the top. Good. And the dumbbell is actually nice for a squat because when you hold them at the front, they just help you get into that deeper position. Yeah. And then we, yeah, it is. It's nice, isn't it? It's good for stability as well. Yeah, for sure. Good. And then we're going to go into a stiff leg deadlift. So turn your face like all sort of on the side to the camera so we can get the angle here. So stiff leg deadlift, you know these well. We're just going to go into it here, get a good hamstring stretch and hips through at the top. That's it. So critical, I'll let you keep going, so, but critical with this is you get a good, solid lower back. You don't want to round that lower back, and you get a really good stretch for your hamstrings, and at the top of the movement, you fire those hips through. And the key cues for me when I'm thinking about this is you want a slight knee bend, as Sophie's got, and you want to really push your hips and your bum backwards and upwards into the air. And then it helps to keep this lower back position nice. And then just stay in that position a little bit higher, there, and you're going to go into a bent over row now. So just pulling those through, and again, squeezing those shoulder blades at the top. Really get that, those shoulder blades together. Great exercise there. Good. And then we're going to go into a lunge. Now, we could do a normal lunge. You can even do a split squat, but we'll go into a forward lunge with a reach. Yep. So all you're going to do is you're going to step forward, and you're going to touch the dumbbells together around about mid-shin for you, okay. okay? So really reach forward and touch them together. Okay, yeah, that's uh, it. Yeah, and use, almost use that momentum to bring them together there, yeah? That's it, that's it. Good, and then try and get your chest closer to your knee now. Okay. Without, well, you almost want it planted on your knee, really, yeah, that's it. It's a great exercise because it takes you away, takes you forward and loads up your hamstring. Good. Let's go to three each leg on this one. Nice. Good. And then we're going to do two upper body ones. So the first one we'll do like a, we'll do a plank row. So we're going to a press up position. Now you've got to watch these dumbbells that have got no zigzags on them or the hexagon ones. So they do roll. So just be careful with that one. And then you're just going to go wide base with your feet. This has got to stay stable. And row three each side. That's it. Alternate? Yep, alternate, yeah. Really fires up your core, this, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Feel that a bit, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Good. And then when, you, when you're done with those, go nice and wide with your hands. Or not too wide, actually, about there. That's fine. And then you're just going to go into press-ups as well. Yeah. Six press-ups. <coughs> and again, you should watch oh, those. Yeah, this is tough, isn't it, this one? Good. See, this is when, when you were doing my S&C program, we had press-ups in pretty much every session in yep. some capacity, didn't we? Different variations. Yep. That's it, and time. Yep. Actually, they're good, those press-ups are solid. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's good. So that's it. So we've got a few movements there strung together. How did that feel? Yeah, I quite like doing it with dumbbells. Yeah. I feel like rather than just doing the exercise, you're working. Mm. Shoulder stabilizes, core stabilizes. Yeah. 
um, yeah. it just makes it feel more of a full body workout like yeah. the barbell which is you sort of move around the barbell yeah. a lot of the time whereas the dumbbells they move around you yeah. don't they, they and you you kind of you can take them where you feel comfortable yeah, in that way really think about yeah keeping everything nice and steady nice and still mm. yeah we do three sets yeah. we'll do an intro set yeah. we'll do and then what i call a fluent set and then a fast set right yeah. so we'll do the fluent one now and what i like about this is this is a challenge to you because yeah. Basically, I don't want the, the movement to stop. I don't want it to be like jerky or jag, kind of sharp in that way. Right. Just nice and fluent all the way through. And even from one movement to the next movement, just straight right. into it's it and try and, yeah, just try and keep your, move, your, your body moving all the time. And then the fast one is just like, go. So we'll do the okay. fluent one and we might probably leave the fast one, maybe do something else instead. Right. Okay. All right, so let's go, go back to the top. I'll coach you through them again. But your job is to keep the dumbbells moving consistently and your body really fluent all the yeah. time, all right? Awesome. Sometimes that's hard, that's tough. Yeah, you've got to think about your technique, haven't you? Yeah, you do, yeah. That's it, absolutely. Yeah. All right, so we're starting with the thrusters. Nice wide with your feet. And go when you're ready. Nice and fluent, no breaks at all. Good. And then into your stiff legs when you've done six on there. See how fluent you can make that transition? Yeah, good. Hips are at the top. Good opportunity to get some glute activation and some glute drive into, into your warm-ups here as well. Good. Good, and then into your forward lunge with reach. Sorry, you're bent over rows, my apologies. Getting ahead of myself there. Good. Nice, then into your lunges, lovely. Nice transition. Good. Let's go three each leg. Really good hamstring work that as well on the forward lunge with reach. And then into your plank rows. Nice and stiff through your core, but nice movement through the upper body. That's it. And then nice fluent press ups to finish. Good. Get your depth on it. Let those hips go down a little bit. Yeah. Changes it up, that doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Good. How's that feel? Tough. Yeah. Yeah. Gets the heart rate up, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You definitely feel better at Brass Hall. Yeah, yeah. It's good. Yeah, it is. It's good. So, where I normally put them is. Uh, a bit of a preparation for the okay. for the session to, to come. So now, yeah, that's it, yeah. A little bit of preparation, yeah. Um, so we'd go into doing, we'd, we'd, we'd probably do some squats or yeah. some strength stuff there. But um, they, they're a nice carryover from the warm-up as well. And it's almost like a bit of a test for me, that as well, for my athletes. If they can blast through three sets of them with good quality, and they're not kind of really gassing out yeah. into too much, then I kind of know that we're moving forward. Uh, Weight-wise, you've got sixes there. You don't need a lot of weight on these. No. There's probably, it's rare that I'd go above a 10. Okay. So you'd probably go up to kind of seven or eight K and do it like that. And I'd yeah. rather just get the work done in that way. We will be back with another episode of Strength and Conditioning TV. Again, very soon we'll be sharing more quality training tips, different types of training and insights into how the best athletes do things. Thanks for watching.